Hi everybody, uh, this is Lisa, Prims on Greenway, and today is the grand opening of the new Hobby House Woolworks. So I'm showing you here uh, the outside, which is actually right next door to Hobby House Needleworks. And if I hadn't said, today is Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. So let's invite ourselves inside <laughs> to see this awesome, awesome shop. So here we go. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So let's, let's start right here in the corner. And what we have here is we have an Oxford punch. So they actually do punch needle here. Uh, we have some kits for wool felt. Look at how cute those are. Look at those alpacas. Holy guacamole. And here is a little kit for a wool project. Adorable. Adorable. Lots of little patterns for woolly projects. I know there's a glare. Let's get the glare off. Look at that stocking. Love it. Tons of wool in here. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this. It's coming. Look at this wool. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at these colors, people. Yeah, I know. You're drooling. I get it. Look at this little, little fall. I believe they're actually giving a class on this. I'm, I'm honestly not sure of the designer, but if you're local and you want to have a cute wool class, I believe it's coming up if you check their website. And we have lots and lots of more of these cute kits. Oh my gosh. I have to zoom in on this one. Look at this with the little birds in the birdhouse. Is that amazing or what? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Adorable. I think these kits are like a mixture of like embroidery and wool applique type things. Look at this little bird over here. Oh, so cute. So cute. And then we have the wall of wool. Look at this. I'm just going to kind of step back so you can see the wall of wool. Is that amazing or what? Completely and totally amazing. Look at these Look at these reds. You know I'm drooling over the reds. You know I'm drooling over these reds. Look at how awesome these are. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Then we move into into yellows and creams and greens and what do we have here this is kind of i don't know what you call this fabric it's kind of a rougher fabric look at how amazing this is and then we have grays into browns and then we come over this way we have purples oh yeah into blues there we are and then today because it's grand opening there's gail <laughs> we came and offered a free make and take here's our little sign and we had some kits made up here and here's some of my wares and we have a little display of our little make and take stars as you can see and we have a lot of takers we had a lot of people come and come and give it a try there's all our supplies and then if you come over to this corner of the store they have lots more wool and all sorts of little little packaging um, there's some of my pin cushions that they sell here um, we have lots of fabrics I'll be showing you more fabrics and I have to show you these these are amazing these are little boxes I'm bringing one down so you can see it these are little boxes um, I gotta set it somewhere so I can show you these are little boxes that have a little handle and they have dividers is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen adorable yes Gail is saying the same thing adorable you gotta love those little boxes. Amazing. So lots of threads going on. Um, more wool. More fabric. More fabric. 
fabric, lots of threads. Here is bins of wool. Over here, lots of bins full of wool. Let's come around the other side. Oh, these shelves are just full of deliciousness. Look at, she has a ton of Saju products. Um, these are little pins. These are boxes of threads. Look at these adorable pins. So cute, so cute. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I'm trying to go slow. Um, look at this tree. Gotta love it, gotta love it. And we have a box of gorgeous Saju fabrics. Oh, I know, I know. They're going crazy right now. Look at these fabric or threads. And right below, these are all French general people. Look at the French general in reds. Oh my gosh, is that amazing or what? Fabric, fabric, and more fabric. Oh, I just love it. I'm going to come back on through so that I can show you the next shelf, which are the blackbirds. Here we go. Look at these blackbirds, people. I know, you're going crazy. I'm going to go up to the next shelf because there's more blackbirds here. Cute little lamp. Look at these blackbirds. Oh my gosh, look at these. We got blues and reds and I have to say I'm attracted to this brown one. I love it. Amazing. Um, because they sell the wool, they have um, supplies for hooking. Here's some hooked pillows. As you can see, just adorable, just adorable. And we're going to come down over here. These are laundry basket fabrics. Look at how beautiful those colors are. I know, you're going crazy right now. I know, look at these blues. <gasps> amazing, completely and totally amazing. Okay, I'm going to swing you back around. We got more fabrics, more threads. <laughs> lots and lots of gorgeous fabrics. Do they call these low volume? I'm not sure. You know, I'm not a quilter, but all I know is I like what I see. Uh, I wore my pillows here for sale. Oh, it's so nice. And lots and lots of fabrics. These are Riley Blink designs. Just beautiful florals. And we're into kind of the browns. And over here we got flannels gorgeous flannels. Gail picked up some flannels today. They are absolutely amazing. Amazing flannels. More fabric. They've got uh, what I call toweling. I don't know if that's the correct term. They've got lots of it here. Look at that. Look at this little wall hanging. It's a mixture of quilting and wool applique. Gorgeous. We've got a whole wall of wool applique patterns of all sorts as you can see another gorgeous wall hanging look at this with the hydrangeas oh my gosh yeah amazing amazing oh we got some maggie bonanomy here can't go wrong with the maggie bonanomy and uh, they've got a cabinet they're still working on here getting things set up over this way, we've got another cabinet full of goodies. Look at in here, we got hoops, we got punch needle, we got rug hooking tools here. We got Teresa Kogut's punch needles patterns. We've got trotters, rug hooking tools. We got tulip needles. Because this is Andover. Look at how cute these are. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this Saju. These are, must be scissor holders for larger scissors. Is that amazing or oh, what? Oh my gosh. And those fabulous. We're going to come over this way. We got bunches of needle felting kits of all sorts. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing. Look at how cute. Oh, I love this cow. You got to see this Highland cow. Is that not cute or what? Yep, and look at the fox. Oh my goodness. And then we got a rug hooked piece here on the wall. Look how cute that is. And we're coming back around to the front here. And this is kind of where we have checkout. We've got these beautiful, beautiful shelves back in here with all sorts of other little goodies on there. 
and um, we got our rug hooked flag in the corner. So it's very similar to the flag I have. That's wool applique, but this one's all rug hooked. Isn't that gorgeous? Right here, this big stack of wool and cute little lanterns. Adorable. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this wool applique in this tray. Is that amazing or what? Gorgeous. And then Hobby House Woolworks has these gorgeous bags. They're in black. And if you look closely, the little wool's got, or the little sheep's got texture. Look at how cute that is. Oh, you've got to love it. So I've shown you the outer edge. Now, in the middle of the shop, I'll give you a kind of an overview. Sorry, I'm trying to slow down. We've got Valdani threads all through there. And then in the middle of the shop, they've got a cutting table, as you can see. And this is just an adorable shop. So remember, Hobby House Woolworks, it's in Pittsford, New York, just next door to Hobby House Needleworks. Um, that's owned by Kathy and Dave. And the gal that's running the wool shop, uh, her name is Tammy. So if you have any questions, you need some help, uh, give them a call. Otherwise, you can find them online at hobbyhouseneedleworks.com and there is a section on their website for wool so um, all I can say is go ahead and uh, check it out check it out uh, we had a wonderful time today doing our make and take we had a bunch of people sit down and make some firecrackers <laughs> which are basically stars on a stick and they really had a good time with it we're thrilled that we came and uh, I was happy to meet a few people I'm going to shout out uh, Christine and Carol and Lisa. Um, so happy to meet y'all as well as all the other gals and I apologize that I've forgotten all your names but um, thanks so much for joining me today. Have a lovely 4th of July holiday. Take care.